you're so knowledgeable about this, so I just wanted to just see how much you can, how much information you just give out. There's something very interesting that was released on September 27th of 2020. And I'm going to go ahead and spell this out so anybody can look it up for themselves. It's patent number CN112220919A, nanocoronavirus recombinant vaccine taking graphene oxide as carrier. It was registered in the Chinese government patent database by Shanghai National Engineering Research Center for Nanotechnology. And when I first saw this, you know, obviously, like you said, there's been a lot of mention circling around about graphene oxide being in vaccines. Now, I'm the kind of person that wouldn't even humor something like that unless I had an electron microscope or something similar and I could look at it for myself. But it was interesting that this was a patent and which got me thinking, how could graphene oxide be used as a carrier for the payload in the vaccine or whatever it is that we were trying to, you know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. We, we, we've used, we've used uh, oxidized carbon, <clears throat> graphene oxide type compounds for many years as carrier. We have lots of, of papers on this. <clears throat> and so what happens is, is the, these compounds are quite anionic. And if you have a cationic package, you can stick it to this and uh, uh, you can use it as a delivery vehicle. But none of this is commercial. You say it came out of Beijing, China. Yeah, Beijing, China. Lots of things come out. You do lots of academic research. But as far as an FDA approved drug, no way. No way. And, mm -hmm. and, uh, um, and that, that formulation, do they show any pictures of that formulation and the color of the formulation? It's certainly not going to be clear unless there's such so little amount that it's not it's going to be insignificant anyway. But yes, it can be a carrier. We have used this as a carrier for a number of different chemotherapy agents for cancer, and uh, uh, and it and it can work well. But from what I know from the literature, what is used is a, a there's a liposomal system, and a liposome is much like a li much like a, a cellular bilayer, and. Uh, you could build a liposomal system and you could pack the, the, the mRNA into that, or you can use, you can use a, um, a soap-like particle. It isn't a lipid bilayer, but it just has a polar end and a nonpolar tail, and you can package the RNA in that. There's papers on that. Mm -hmm. But remember, if that came out in 2020, the mRNA vaccines came out of uh, uh, Pfizer and out of Moderna, and those those finally came out in 2021 were being issued. So, so, so I don't know that, that that Chinese patent, I'd have to read it, but it, it didn't sound like they were packaging it with mRNA. It is widely known that the tobacco and diet industries lobby governments with scientific propaganda for years until proven guilty in court. The artificial treatment of our water is the next corporate deception. For example, virtually every nation in Europe has rejected the use of artificial fluoride. International studies since the 40s have repeatedly shown that endocrine and neurological effects increase after repeated consumption, even at the levels accepted by U.S. government. Epic Water Filters is the the most thorough industry grade filtration system that Houston Ensemble has ever used. They reduce heavy metals upwards of 99.5% such as lead and mercury, bacteria like E. coli, and poisons like chromium, nitrate, and fluoride. Join us in our journey to living a toxin-free life and get your epic water filter using discount code Houston Ensemble lowercase one word. That's Houston Ensemble lowercase one word for 20% off your epic water filter.